This is 2N3055 NPN power transistor which has the capability of handling 15 ampere. That means original component will be having the capac cap capacity of handling 15 ampere. I don't think that these two components are original. But not an issue for this circuit. We need only one transistor for this circuit. But I do not have a spare one with me. And both of the transistors are fixed in this heatsink. I have already done a video on how to fix this transistor in the heatsink. But we will be using only one transistor for this circuit. This type of metal packaging are called TO3 package. I will tell you how to find the pin details of this transistor. When you are looking from the back side, the green arrow pointing line is having longer than the red arrow pointing line. Hold the longer reds to the right side and you can count it as the body is collector and the top pin is emitter and the bottom pin is base. This is very easy to find it out. Today we are going to make a variable current power supply. Using this circuit, we are not varying the voltage at the output, but we are only varying the current at the load. All of you know that the transistor is a current controlled device. That means the base current determines the collector current. The less the base emitter current, the more the collector emitter current. And the more the base emitter current, the more the collector emitter current. We are going to use this property of the transistor here. But when you are looking into a MOSFET, MOSFET is a voltage control device. The gate voltage determines the drain source current. In our circuit, BC547 is used as the driver to the power transistor 2N3055. We can even club this circuit along with a varying voltage power supply to build a varying voltage and varying current power supply. We can increase the output current by parallelly connecting two power transistors. That is, two, uh, two N3055 transistors need to be connected in parallel to form to increase the output current. Let us measure the input voltage. Uh, this power supply is not from my bench power supply. This is from uh, from one of the illuminator I have. 
this is a 12 volt eliminator so the output voltage will be 15 16 volt this is a transformer based power supply we can measure the output voltage you can see it is around 15.76 or nearly 16 voltage and there is no drop uh, heavy drop in voltage and if i am uh, turning the potentiometer still you can see there is no change in the output voltage the output voltage is constant so this is our load that i am giving uh, into this circuit output of this circuit this is a 12 volt 20 watt led bulb we don't need to give any current limiting resistor uh, because it is already there in this uh, led bulb you might be wondering how we can give a 12 volt uh, led bulb to a 16 volt power supply this uh, the 16 volt is actually a um, excited voltage that is output of the capacitive filter when we are connecting a load the uh, voltage will drop to 12 volt because the transformer is 12 volt uh, even though we have uh, uh, given uh, 16 voltage to the LED bulb, it is lighting with less brightness. That is because the current is very less. When I am turning the potentiometer, you can see the brightness is increasing because uh, the circuit is delivering more current to the LED bulb. That is why the brightness is increasing very high. We have already connected two disk capacitors at both input and output section. Uh, these two capacitors are used for uh, uh, bypassing the spikes. That means uh, if you are, you are turning the potentiometer uh, immediately, there will be a spike coming uh, at the output that will uh, damage uh, the circuit. That in order to avoid that, these capacitors will by bypass these spikes to the ground. If you believe that this video was useful, then please click like button and also share this to your friends. Any suggestions on this video are highly appreciated. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.